So this is the first class of our advanced beginner series. So basically in the first beginner series, we looked at our open embrace and we looked at um, the five essential steps and walking. Now we're getting into a little more advanced territory, but still very much things that beginners need to know um, for this dance. One of the things is really a different way to go to the Crusada, to the cross. In the beginner series, we went to the cross in parallel system. So what parallel means is when I'm stepping with my left foot, Shelly's stepping with her right, and vice versa. I step with my right, she steps with her left. So this would be parallel system. So notice when we go to the cross, I step outside partner. We're still in parallel system. Here, together, 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 together. So we're, we stay in parallel system the whole time. Now, switching to cross system means that one of us does a weight change that the other one does not do. If we're going to walk in cross system, if I step with my left and I collect and switch weight without her, then when I step again, I'm stepping with my left and she's stepping with her left. When I step with my right, she's stepping with her right. So this puts us into what we call cross system. So here I can do weight changes, little sneaky changes here, to get in and out of cross system. And I can go to either side when I do that. In fact, if I walk on both sides of her, then we're doing ochos. We're just more walking them in, but it's the same as this. So we use this often to go to the cross. So I step to the side, I switch weight, I go out with my left, now, with my right foot, I'm going to take my right and put it in front of my left. This gives her room here. And when I move my body weight up over my right foot, she crosses. I like to sort of leave my left leg back here. I could collect it, but I don't switch right onto it. Then I can step out with it all together. One thing that makes this interesting is that we're switching into cross system by me doing a sneaky extra weight change there. And then here, she's doing an extra weight change without me to put us back to parallel. We can also add a little um, rhythm to this to could be quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. In fact, that's kind of built into the step. So if I do this all in slow, 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 okay? A little boring, but quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So actually going to the cross and cross system is almost my default way of going to it. I actually rarely go to the cross in parallel system, but it's the way everybody learns. So we kind of do that in the beginner series because we all need to know it that way since pretty much everyone learns it in parallel to begin with. But if you watch some more advanced dancers, they're actually going to the cross in cross system most of the time. So one of the keys here is not to have her switch weight here with us. So if I bring my feet together and I switch weight 
So they see she switched weight with me, and then, oh, we're back in parallel already. Oh, we never left parallel, actually. We're, we're together, together, together. So I want to do this weight change and not have her feel it. One of the ways I do this is that when I step out here, I overstep her just a little bit. So when I switch weight, I'm actually switching weight on the line where her weight already is. So on her right leg, yeah, on her right axis. So that's where I'm switching weight. I'm also not doing anything in the upper body. I'm trying to do all of this down below. Whereas if I change with my upper body, she's going to want to switch with me. Yeah. So if I do those two things, I can get this weight change pretty easily. Also, the quick, quick, slow helps. To get the cross, just like in parallel system, it's important not to block her from crossing. So if I step here, see, on the line with her back leg, then her foot doesn't have room to cross. So actually, she's going to just step straight back there and collect. I could do that if I just use this just to get into the cross system for walking. See, I could walk in cross system, and then when I want the cross, instead of stepping back in line, I step a little, again, I put my right foot in front of my left, that gives her room there to cross. Just like in the other cross, there's a little, since I'm not actually switching weight with her here, there is a little saddle into my right leg that leads her to switch weight there. And saddle. Just a tiny bit. Then again, my left is free, so I step back in line and we can continue walking. 